Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Thumbnail. Thumbnail? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. It's midnight, right? Around then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're making dafuki. We have the water on the stove already. And now for our ingredients. Okay, so this is dok, which is a Korean rice cake. We have two kinds. We have what would you call this? Cylindrical kind of shaped, right? Mm -hmm. And flat. They are both Ashi brand, which is my favorite brand, honestly, for rice cakes. Very good company, I suggest. I recommend. And then we have um, our tteokbokki sauce, which is probably made with it's made with gochugaru most likely, but these came from an instant packet because um, we took them out of another packet since they came in a thing of two, but one is usually enough. Since we're making so much, though, we're gonna use the two of them. Our chopsticks. So here's the thing about the, from what I know actually, there are like Chinese dish where it's like the flat ones stir fried, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like Koreans use the flat ones for soups often. Like dokguk. Yeah, dokguk specifically. And then the long skinny ones are usually, I would just eat them like from a supermarket. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? When they're fresh. Yeah. I don't think that they're used for, like the long skinny ones are used for anything really other than dokguk to my knowledge. Or dokguk yeah, that's true. A few moments later. Ta-da! Final product. Okay, let's try it. So hot. <laughs> I'm slipping. It's slipping. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay. I Stop it! <laughs> Ooh. I'm happy to frost all this. This <laughs> It's very chewy. It but is though. This is honestly like a college type snack just whenever because instant powder makes it very quickly and it's very simple because we don't have much stuff in college. Oh, to be fair, like the packaging specifically for the that like came with the powder for the instant duffel cake is sold with like together with it, right? We use our own duff. But with the package one, the instant one, it still tastes good too. They sell them at Kim's Oriental, so. Very close. Very close. During Chinese New Year, my family actually uses, or cooks with the more flat rice cake instead of the long cylinder one. Those are <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we eat it every single year. Mm. Which is interesting though, because, okay, so I'm half Chinese and half Korean, but for the Chinese side of my family, we don't have this. I've only seen this in like Chinese restaurants stir fried basically with like, Vegetables. Yeah. Korean side. Dukguk. True. That's like the only place I've seen this, I think. The flat ones. Does your family eat dukguk on New Year's though? Yeah. I know we're supposed to, but my mom doesn't make it. It's like rice cake uh, foods. We It's like the, the soup version, mm. but not red. <laughs> we'll we, we, we eat during New Year's. I forgot why, to be honest, but I think it has um, something to do with just good health, was it? Is it? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Good wealth. Wealth for you? I think so. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Or just for like a good year, you know? You know? It's food. <laughs> food is food. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Hi. Hello. What's up? We are currently in Kim's Oriental, which is like the only Korean food store really around here, right guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are going to be making um Myokguk and kimbap. Exactly. So for Myokguk we have dry seaweed. Um also we got meat for the broth or the base. We have beef from, from Target. Yes. So that we don't need to do it that. We have garlic in our dorm. 
and salt and pepper. And I think any kind of oil, like sesame oil or uh, soy sauce could be fine for the Which we have, we have both. And then so for the kimbap, we are going to get put, instant rice. Yes, instant rice. <laughs> because instant rice. we don't have a rice cooker. Some instant rice and uh, nori. We found kim, which has pork soju in it. Perfect. Uh, There's the yellow radish for yes, kimbap. the pickled yellow radish. And then I think we might do odeng, but I'm not sure. Are we gonna do odeng? Yes. Odeng is a type of Korean fish cake, which is flattened. Mostly it's made of flour, I feel like, right? Yeah. And we have... Maybe we'll put baby carrots in it if they're still good. Oh, okay. Crab meat. You need to show crab meat. The extra fancy. I think that's all we need from here, right guys? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye! Bye. We're back. We found the... Uh, the mat for kimbap is it's a little hard to hand roll so now we have all the things we've secured it hi guys hi okay so we're walking back now and we'll probably cook the food tonight right yeah dinner dinner <laughs> dinner so we just checked the um weather basically it's 70 degrees outside and we have decided that we were going to make soup isn't that lovely? I'm gonna put the beef into the boiling water now to get it started. The broth process is sort of long because you have to boil the meat and then scoop off the parts that kind of float on top. It's like the fat that kind of comes to the top, basically. Okay. And you gotta repeat that multiple times, so it takes a while. Which While we're at it, I think we are going to um, soak the seaweed because it's dried. And then we'll add seasonings like soy sauce, garlic, salt, and pepper, and then we'll let it boil down for a long, long time, basically. Mm -hmm. That was soy sauce. As we go, when we start adding the seaweed, we will adjust. We use the whole bag for this, for the rehydration, because we use a lot of water. And also, uh, it could depend on if you want more soup or if you want more seaweed in your soup. We already added the garlic, so that's what you see floating around in there. I'll mix it in with the spoon. Mm. <laughs> so for kimbap, we have pickled radish, fish cake, imitation crab, rice, eggs, sesame oil, and salt. We got two different brands of rice because I ran out of this one. Um, I personally prefer this. <laughs> but, um, this brand is usually the most popular and uh, most people get this rice and for the fish cake and the, the imitation crab this is usually mostly used for I guess Korean families in my opinion and these were the only ones available at Kim's Oriental, Kim's Oriental. also yeah. look Ashi brand like another, another Ashi brand one so that means you know it's good. That's how you know it's good. Mm. We're still cooking. <laughs> cutting. Cutting. <laughs> cutting. Kelly's gonna be making the eggs. 
So here we have rice that is mixed with sesame oil and salt. Then we have the cook and cut odeng. We have the imitation crab meat that's also been lightly grilled. Cut and cooked eggs and the cut radish. And now Crystal's making one of the kimbaps. Um, oh, we didn't show. Back to his face again. <laughs> Look how happy he is. For what? <laughs> Look at that tower. And those knife cuts from Casey. You technically don't have to cut all of them, but you can. You can also just kind of grab it and eat it whole. And I do that sometimes when my mom makes it because I get lazy. Um, Casey, on the other hand, says she always cuts them. <laughs> um, my mom always cuts them. What's the difference? Mm. You can also kind of save these in the refrigerator as long as you don't leave them there for like a week. But... It, it works. You can eat it for like the next day too if you want. And the, the middle parts kind of look nice, but the, the ends kind of look a little weird. When we get to it. Mm -hmm. She's almost there. But the ends are also a lot better because they have more flavor since they're full. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make the pyramid, the kimbap pyramid. Here is our kimbap. It's in a little stack. It's hard <laughs> to see, but it's all cut up now. Mm -hmm. And then this is the miyokuk, which is seaweed soup. Here's seaweed and the beef that we use for it. Do you want to try it first? Yes. I'm so hungry. I'm very hungry, honestly. <laughs> it's very good. I like, I like, <laughs> but yeah, for miyoku, we, for Koreans, because I'm Korean, <laughs> we usually uh, make this for birthdays, because I think uh, it was supposed to be for mothers, because of the iron, when they give birth and all the blood, so they need to replenish iron and because seaweed has a lot of iron mm, this is a very good source of it but now it's kind of more like a tradition where we kind of just drink or i guess eat um seaweed soup for birthdays <clears throat> I, my sister really loves it i'm half korean and half chinese and so my mom makes this um when she has the time to and usually she makes it with um a part of the like meat that's called kaibi which is like technically rib but it's cut a certain way and korean people like to um they like to grill kaibi actually like for korean barbecue but my mom uses that as the stock for the soup base which she usually cooks like overnight and so she cooks that overnight and then she has the seaweed and she puts that in and it takes like the whole day but so my sister's born in the summer and mm. she really loves seaweed soup but cooking soup in the summer is not fun yeah. No, yeah. So my mom is always like, you really want me to do this in the summer? And she's like, yes, because I love it. <laughs> but like she said, it can be made with uh, beef, but also I think my sister has made this with anchovy and like um, sometimes clams or like mussels as the base instead of the meat. And it actually tastes really good too. And you can make any kind of variation of it. My sister kind of experimented and she puts, uh, I guess, Sometimes she puts like peppers to soak in it and then takes it out after, so it can be slightly like spicy-ish, but not a lot. So it, it works. <laughs> and I'm Chinese, so I have no experience. <laughs> well, now you do. So what's, now I do. What do you, do you think feel? of it? Really good. I like the beef. Oh, okay, good. Do you like the seaweed? Cause some people don't like it because it's slimy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't like it when I was little because I was like, it's slimy, it's gross, and there's too much of it. I don't mind it. Really? Okay. Good. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I'm picky, but like I've always liked seaweed soup, but uh, because I don't know, I actually really like the the slimy parts of it. I didn't really like the rough seaweed that was kind of mixed into it sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I've met a lot of people who don't like it because of its texture. 
So I can see why. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's a very acquired thing. I want to. I wonder what other people like would see it as because I know for a fact I did not like it growing up, and but you like it now. So maybe like other people might find it unappealing, even though they're like, if they're not like, if they're not open to the thought of it, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> for the, for this though, you can also have many different variations, oh, a yes. lot more. Only cause I guess kimbap is mostly just the idea of the seaweed and the rice uh, with the seaweed on the outside, which makes it kind of different from sushi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Seaweed. Pop. Yeah. So pop rice. Right. Yes. So the history of kimbap um, is influenced by Japanese imperialism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Along the lines of that. And apparently uh, the Koreans weren't allowed to call this kimbap, so they call it norimaki. According nori. to a theory of it. So. Nori means seaweed, right? Mm -hmm. the, yeah. And then maki is, I think, the roll. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it is. <clears throat> if you see this in like Korean restaurants, I guess, they usually have like at least 20 different variations of it. And a lot of people like the, I think the tuna one. I personally do not like tuna. So I like the original, which is usually just what we made with uh, egg, and sometimes crab meat, sometimes it's ham instead of crab meat. And then we have odeng, which is the fish cakes, the flattened fish cakes, and and definitely with the yellow radish. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, the they also sometimes put Korean spinach in it. Oh yeah, yeah, that usually goes in it. But in the simpler versions, some people take it out, leave it out, and in I guess when we make it at home, we usually have the spinach in it. We just couldn't find it at the store. So. My mom likes the um, sesame leaves. Mm. So I, I know, I think they're called perilla also. In but kidney. Kidney, okay. Yeah, because um, basically there's like a sesame plant and I don't really know if it's the same for like sesame seeds, but I think it might be, but it's like the leaves of it. They take the, um, we have them in the backyard, like a bunch of them. But so. She puts those like leaves into hers. I don't like the taste of kidney, honestly. Yeah, I, I personally don't either. I don't know if you've tried it before. Or I not. probably haven't. Mm. I don't know if you'd like it or not, but I mean, maybe you would. It's kind of like durian, where it's like a hit or miss. It's mm -hmm. either you really like it or you really don't. Cause so, I guess durian has like the smell to it too, but this is less of a strong smell. It's more of strong like the flavors, taste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the taste is very strong. I don't, yeah, I personally do not like it. She does not like it. I personally do not yeah. like it. <laughs> well, but, I have yet to try. Mm, we I shall know. see. I mean, yes, we shall see, I guess. <laughs> I remember having these specifically, though, like, packed for my lunch on, like, field trips. Like, trips. days when we, like, went to, like, the museum or something, or, like, the zoo in, like, elementary school. Yeah. Because there's this one place in Northern Boulevard in Queens that is just, like, really popular for it. There's a few on Northern Boulevard mm -hmm. that exist, but this one is the one I went to the most growing up. And I just got the one that was like the sausage, egg, uh, fish kick, I'm pretty sure too. Mm -hmm. The radish, because I didn't like spinach growing up and I didn't want carrots in my um, kebab. Now I get everything though. I don't like spinach either, but then th this is like, I think they use a specific Korean spinach type of thing and they also kind of have to season it or um, I think they use some kind of sesame oil too, or just kind of, I don't know, but it's it's pretty good and for someone who does not like greens, I like it, so. <laughs> that is fair. <clears throat> I really like this a lot. I'm really hungry. We're all very hungry. Okay, this is maybe not an ideal college uh, <laughs> meal, considering it took Quite a while. <laughs> to be fair, no. Um, the one that took a while was the soup because mm. this, uh, like, there are probably people who cook it in under the amount of time we did. Yeah. A good one for me, I think, if you're making like a stock by hand, would be like a whole day if you had the time. Mm -hmm. This was made in three hours, which is honestly pretty good for three hours. Mm, yeah. And that's this true. took the longest. We also use an electric stove, which it took a long yeah. time to heat mm. everything. 
Oh, but if you do have like a small electric kettle thing that has its own plug-in, that could work. You just have to adjust the proportions <laughs> a little bit. A lot smaller. But it does it does work and it's probably a lot faster than this. Cause this this we made like a giant pot so we could kind of just have more servings. This is also faster than normal because we didn't have to cook the rice in a rice cooker. <laughs> mm-hmm. Honestly. It's the college um, shortcut instant version. Just like the tteokbokki. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> if I was on a crunch for time, I make those. Honestly. Yeah. Not this. I need a weekend. <laughs> Having some trouble <laughs> getting the seaweed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little slippery. <laughs> I am not someone that likes imitation crab or fish cakes. I would prefer if it was actually raw fish like sushi, but this is actually not that bad. And I actually really like the pickled radish. Mm. And I think people eat this with the spicy rice cakes. So I think it's very good. No. Yeah. Usually in like Korean restaurants and stuff, if it's a place that mainly sells uh, kimbap, they also most of the time, they will have uh, odenkuk, which is fish cake soup, and also tteokbokki, which is a spicy rice cake. Because I don't know if y'all have tried it, but I, I think, I personally think it's really good together because my, when my mom makes it at home, she also does those three uh, together, or even just the, the fish cake soup and this kimbap. Usually, it does not go with uh, miyoko, but you can honestly eat it with anything you want, so. <laughs> well, my and, family makes it. I just eat it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the seaweed was endorsed by the protagonist in Ito in class, mm. so we just had to get it. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, you have to. Yeah. <laughs>